Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. You can. Cool. And if you don't understand anything, or if you're getting confused, you know, yell at me. <laughs> so just raise your voices. You know, she uses real words and words that make people go, oh my God. So I like that about her. Everybody else thinks that because the world is sexual, that means it's anti-feminist. You know, she's a pro-sexual feminist. I like and admire how she delved into the darker side of being human and darker not meaning the wrong side of being human, I guess. Sometimes I was reading it and I like, I felt physically sick. I gained a lot from reading it and kind of, I think, learned a lot about myself. Some things I didn't want to know and some things I did. Prüfstelle für jugendgefährdende Schriften in Bonn hat in ihrer 333. Sitzung vom 18.09.1986 beschlossen, das Buch Harte Mädchen weinen nicht von Kathy Ecker wird in die Liste der jugendgefährdenden Schriften aufgenommen. Das verfahrensgegenständliche Buch erschien im Jahre 1985. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can, cool. Can you hear that? Yeah, I know that well. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to be reading you from a novel. This is so, look, this thing's not going to work. What the hell with it? This is funky. I mean, I'm funky. If you ever can't hear, just yell at me or something. Um, this is no church. Okay, so this is a little poem by Ange, because poetry is what fucks up this world. <laughs> While the world cracks open and all the rich men die and all the fucks who sat on my face, those sniveling shites, we come crawling through the cracks, orphans, lobotomies. If you ask me what I want, I'll tell you. I want everything. Whole rotten world Come down and break. Let me spread my legs. The work was brand new. The work was fresh. No one had really done it in quite the way she had done it before. So the fact that she was a woman was incredibly important. This had been very much a male domain, especially experimental fiction in America. It belonged to men. Burroughs said, steal everything you can. So she, she was um, a hoodlum. She stole, and unlike the upper class thieves and hoodlums, she didn't cover it. to be political. She just was political, you know, uh, because that, that, there was no other option. But it wasn't an easy ride. No one was going to be able to save her from herself. And that actually is how Kathy lived. No one was ever able to save her 
from herself, yet she did just fine up until the end. Kathy went, went too early. She died too young. The words from almost 20 years ago are still timely today, and I think for younger women, they still resonate. There's a character in a lot of her writing, Janie. Janie was an alter ego of Kathy, and clearly an autobiographical reference who was played with poetically creative license, but there's a lot of Kathy in that character and even tied into her own personal history.